Hey everybody, this is Shock, and in this very quick video that I'm sure you'll want to favorite, I'm going to show you three ways to dramatically cool down your laptop. Now, you're looking at a laptop that's an i7 quad-core system, and they tend to get very, very hot, especially if you use it like I do with gaming and also rendering video in my YouTube channel. Well, let's go through three things that you can do to dramatically cool down your laptop temperatures. Now, I have to tell you, I've tried it and it's really, really effective. First of all, I would say, surprisingly, the most effective thing that has helped me is removing the battery from the back of the laptop when it's not needed. Now, you might be saying, well, come on, how could that work? Well, when you have the battery in your laptop and you also have it charged in, you also have it charged in like I do, uh, the charger in, what happens is it's having to constantly charge up the battery. So it creates a strain on the, the uh, laptop. It, it raises the temperature. How do I know? Well, I've tested it. I used to run, uh, when I'm really using the laptop, I've used to run 80 Celsius, even 85, even sometimes 90 Celsius on, on this system. Uh, now look what it's running at. See those four temperatures there? That's uh, 59, around 58, 57, 57. Uh, probably the highest it's hitting is 60. See that? On all four cores. So you can get one of these temperature programs like this. This is a uh, core temp. This is free and you could download it and it'll regulate your temperature. So I want you to go to shockonow.net, click links and free stuff. And I'm going to show you some other ways that you can cool down your laptop. Now go to your power options. See the battery right here? And you're going to right click on it and click power options. And then once you're at your power plans, it'll show you all different power plans. Go to whatever power plan you've got picked and choose change plan settings. Don't worry if I'm going too fast. You can save this video to your favorites and go back. Now choose change advanced power settings. Now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to processor power management. And don't worry, you could always change these back uh, if you don't like it. Notice I have battery 99% and plugged in 99%. This is on maximum processor state. This used to be 100, but just by lowering it that 1%, it really helps to keep it cool. Now, let's say you're going to be doing some very intense gaming or something like that. Well, I've even done gaming uh, with this system and it doesn't affect the frame rates at all. It seems like I still have really good frame rates and um, I don't notice any difference in speed. The speed's still there. So that's another thing you can do to reduce the temperature. So just between removing the battery when you're on uh, charger, when you're on charger power, and also going in there and changing the advanced settings in your your power settings that helps and then another thing you can do is this see this right this little platform I have this is a laptop cooling pad Now I'm going to lift up the laptop underneath you're going to see a light there and you're going to see a giant fan spinning around see how quiet it is you can get these on eBay uh, really really cheap you're looking for a laptop cooling fan now if you do all three of those things each one of them synergistically works together to keep your laptop cool I'm telling you guys you don't want to be running your laptop you know in the 80s and the 90s constantly it just uh, ages your system it wears it down faster and if you look here I got all my cores running a lot lower than I used to um, and that's pretty good for an i7 uh, which I use this more, most for gaming and stuff like that. Now, as a bonus for you being so nice watching this whole video, which I appreciate it, go right here to shotgunnow.net. I'm going to let it sit there for about three seconds. And when you go there, click links and free stuff. So watch. If you click links, I'm going to show you how to dramatically, radically speed up your PC without buying any new software. And what you do is you're going to scroll down here. Let me find it. Here it is how to speed up your PC dramatically. Read that and there's other settings that it would just take me too long to go through it all in this video. But click that 
and you'll be able to um, see some settings that you can tweak that will help you radically, dramatically speed up your system. Another thing you want to do if you're a gamer or you need some free software or antivirus programs free, go here. Oh, also go here, click get a free chat room. You can get your own free chat room there. But go here and click, where is it? Free stuff. So let's click free stuff together here. And when free stuff loads, you notice there's all types of free programs here that you can get. All types of them. So, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching my video on how to dramatically cool down your laptop and dramatically speed up your laptop. Go to shockanow.net and um, thanks for watching. God bless. You guys have a great week.